What is going on guys, Sam here, and I know I haven't... Is that a fly? Great start. So what is going on guys, Sam here, and I'm sorry I haven't been here for ages. I have been busy, I've been stressed, I still am that. I've got my exams, I've got an exam tomorrow, definitely. I've done 10 hours already of photography. Yeah, I've just been a bit... Ah. So I was sitting earlier today, it's a bank holiday, and I thought I wanted to make a video. But I've been doing this for ages now. I want to make a video, but I can't think of a video to do. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, and then I realised I made a video a while ago about how to make a good YouTube channel. Apart from I didn't really go into full detail about that, like I wanted to. So I've made a big list of everything I want to talk about, and I'm going to talk about it now. Now starting a YouTube channel is actually a question I get asked a lot. And I don't actually know why people ask me, I'm probably not the best person to ask, but I am going to give my advice. Now, a lot of the questions I get is, what camera should I get? And I don't like that question because it does not matter what camera you get. Some of my first videos and vlogs were filmed on this, my iPhone 5C. It's still perfect quality. So if you have a phone, record with that. You don't need a big fancy camera. I got one as a Christmas present and it was um, for my photography. Well, that's what I tell my parents. I wanted it for YouTube. Uh, but it really does not matter what camera you have. I will go into why as well in a minute. You need to get your point across. You can't ramble on. You can't be talking about, let's say, politics on your YouTube channel or bodybuilding. Let's say body, yeah, let's say bodybuilding on your channel. And then suddenly go into a rant about why Kim Kardashian is a fake. Don't, don't do that. Ah, oh, shit. I meant to say something else instead of uh, the first thing I said. So I'm gonna say it now. If you are starting for a if you're starting a channel out just for money and nothing else, just click off the video because you're doing it for the wrong reason. Nothing else I have to say, you're doing it for the wrong reason. Just, just go. You can watch YouTube videos, but there's no point in making them. Hello, Harry! Now, a lot of the time, people are like, why should I carry on? I've only got 100 or 200 subscribers and I've been doing this for years. Every channel started out with zero subscribers, every big channel like PewDiePie who personally I don't really like his content. Oh well. He started off with zero subscribers and he took years and years to build a big following. And that will happen with anyone. I have been doing this for over a year now and I have, at the moment, 236 subscribers. And to me, that's successful. Now, whenever you've recorded a video, store it on one of these. This is a, this, this is a hard drive. This is my Seagate one terabyte hard drive, which I got av off of Amazon for 50 pounds. Um, it's worth it because if your channel gets terminated, um, which it might be your fault, it might not be, yeah, um, or your laptop gets fucked, I'm gonna say it, I haven't swore in a while, fucked, then this will probably be your saviour. I back every video and every clip onto here, everything. Make sure you have time for YouTube, invest your time. And that's stupid of me to say because I haven't been, I've been very. Stupid. Now the first thing I talked about was about you don't need the best camera. It's true. I would like a better camera than the one I've got. I love the camera I've got, but I need a flip screen on the back so I can actually see if I'm in focus or not. But as long as your camera is 1080p like this, all you need is good lighting. But like, you can use natural lighting, which is the sun. I bought a ring light for £50 off of eBay, brand new. Uh, then I had to pay for customs because it got pulled over. That's a good video idea. Yep. Yeah. Hello. As long as you've got good lighting, you will have good... Well, it will make your video look better, but just focus on what content you want to make first. Make sure if you have a video idea, you note every single one down. People can note it on their phones. Um, I personally, though, prefer writing in a book. I got this book in Pathos after my Bazinga book, which I got as fan mail. Believe it or not, I got fan mail. Uh, came. I got, so this was in Pathos. It's a Game of Thrones book. Funnily enough, I've never watched again an episode of Game of Thrones, but it was the cheapest book, and I get video ideas in here, and I put my scripts in there, because I like to keep them safe. Try and interact with the audience, whether that be Facebook, Twitter, or in the video. I try, and I keep forgetting to do it, so I've written it down on the piece of paper, and you'll see what I mean if you carry on watching. Try to upload on a weekly schedule. It's not something I should really be talking about. A year ago now, I would be uploading two videos a week. Two videos a week. I managed to do two videos a week for a month. I was actually very proud of myself and I still... 
I shouldn't be proud of myself anymore because I can't do it. I miss doing two videos a week, but I guess if I did it now, it'd be too much work because I have to revise and I have to do my exams and I would just explode. I pretty much am melting now. There is a big difference between hate comments and constructful criticism. Hate comments can be, your videos suck, go and die. That is hate. Constructful criticism, oh fuck off lighting, can be along the lines of, hey, I think this part was bad in the video, you can improve it by doing this. Some people take it differently. I like constructful criticism, feel free to leave it in the comments. But some people don't see it as constructful, they see it as they're just out to get me and they don't like my channel, I will write a comment back to them being an ass. Don't ever reply to hate comments, ever. If you see constructive criticism, say thank you, I'll keep that in note for next time. If, however, someone saying this, this, this about your mum, don't know why they would, don't reply, just leave it. You're as bad as them at that point. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is don't let anyone stop you, whether that be your family or anyone, just anyone. If you get bullied in school about it, don't let anyone stop you. Make sure you prioritise. School, relationships, social life, and then YouTube. Make sure you're doing the most important things before YouTube. V1 I made a video recently about why you should drop out of school and he made some valid points. Casey knows that he dropped out of school when he was 15 and then he got a girl pregnant when he was 16. But make sure if, make sure family comes first, okay? If someone dies in the family, don't vlog it, okay? Don't vlog the funeral. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a like rating down below and comment if you watch till the end. You are the reason why YouTube drama is starting and has started. Yep, I'm, I am the reason. Comment, comment that now. Yeah. So I will see you guys soon. I have some exams to be doing through the next month. I definitely know a video I'm doing next week, I think. Uh, because I'll... Things have worked out that way, okay? I will do a video then, and maybe like a little short film, maybe. And, and the camera cut out. So remember, live big, love more. And I bet you can see that in the reflection.